Alright, just before we start this episode off, I wanted to just go ahead and mention, off camera, I had grinded up to get plenty of petals, fangs, and horns, and feathers, and I have also leveled up Zayla all the way up so she can learn the charm ability. And the reason I grinded up so much is because I want to get every item we can from the trading post, which is not this place. And let it be known, I actually was in the right place, wasn't I? No, no, okay. Let it be known that this was kind of a big grind, so I might be overpowered later on. But let's just go ahead and do this in order. We'll do pedal and fang. And this will give you the ruby gun. We're not going to use it right away because, well, we don't really have Luca with us. You trade in pedal and horn. And you get the Sage Bow, once again, we won't be using right away. You trade Petal and Feather. And you'll get the Stone Arm, which we will actually use. Trade in Fang and Horn. And it gives you the flint edge, which once again we will actually use right away. You use fang and feather. And you'll get the ruby vest, which we will be getting a lot of. But again, that'll be before the episode truly starts. And then finally, for horn and feather, you will get... The Rock Helm, which once again, I'll get a good set filled. But yeah, I wanted to show this off before the episode started because I didn't want to spend too much time on this segment. But for now, let's go on to the episode. Hey peeps, Phoenix here, continuing on with Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we arrived here at 650 million BC and met up with our new friend Zayla, who is a flippin' powerhouse of a character. And off camera, I also learned some new text. Robo learning Heal Beam, which is sort of Cure Beam, but it hits the whole party. Chrono learning Lightning 2, which more than likely I'll end up using Lightning, none at all. And Zayla learned a lot. I don't know if we had Rolo Kick yet, but we might have. But she also learned Cat Attack, Rock Throw, and Charm. And as for the dual attacks, she's learned Drill Kick, Bolt Bite, Falcon Hit, Boogie, and Spin Kick. I'll make sure to show all of these off at some point. And the main thing I was doing was trying to get her to learn Charm, because I was the thief of the game, believe it or not. She's a flippin' powerhouse, and she's also a thief. Thieves are my favorite classes in any RPG, but this is even better. Because usually in RPGs, if you got a thief in your team, then they can't really do much. They can steal, and they can be fast and lucky, but more than likely, they'll take some heavy hits. I'm doing this whole conversion thing while we're in a battle, alright! So let's see if I can get another charm out. I say another, this is the fifth time recording this. Something has always interfered with this recording for some reason, and I just can't seem to- Oh, we got a dream gun! Sweet! That's gonna be- If I'm not mistaken, that's an even better gun for Luca than what we have. What, what, what I got. Come on, there we go! Falcon hit! I love this move so much. Does so much damage and it's so cool. Yeah, don't be surprised if we don't level up this time around. I kind of grinded for a while. I think it was about an hour's worth of grinding just to get the materials for everything we needed. No joy. We had to take the hole that landed us in a whole crap ton of enemies. All for an ether. Alright, come on. Oh, actually, this means I can show off another move. Let's see, where's it at? Ah, let's show off Boogie! And break it down! And while that didn't really freeze them, it definitely slowed their movements down. Oh, shoot, I can attack. Um... Well, first off, I'm gonna have Zayla use Charm on a Mandrake, see what they drop. 
And then I am going to have Chrono. Heck yeah. Oh, we got a dream? Well, these guys are dropping all the good stuff. Wow. I'm starting to think we may be a little OP for this section. I mean, I did gain probably about three levels the whole time I was grinding. Which I wasn't going for. I probably won't get a level up this whole episode. Wow, I am not that fluent, am I? I don't know why I just said that. Sometimes my words, they get a little fast-paced and they sort of lose track of what they're trying to say. So I say some of the stupidest things to... Half of that grinding was for nothing, wasn't it? Because Zayla comes equipped with the ruby vest and the rock elm. And Chrono has a better... Oh my lord, I wasted so much time doing that. You know, I wonder if I can just keep charming items off these guys and sell them later. Oh, lightning too, I didn't get to show... This affects the whole... Do it! Okay, what's his attack supposed to do? Because it's missed every time. And okay. Well, that's a seizure warning and a half. Seriously, what is this supposed to do? He's missed every shot! Is it like an instant kill move or something? I'm legit curious. If somebody knows, please let me know. I don't know how often I'm going to see that enemy, but... Oh, joy. A whole lair of munchkins. Ah, I'm up to killing them. Oh, they are perfectly lined. Wait, 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 before anything. Ooh. That's going to be very useful for Robo. I like their little dancer to it up there. <laughs> Oh no! Wait, did that just kill Chrono? Oh no, he's just asleep. Although I think that kind of cancels out the move I was trying to do. Never mind! Wow, I grinded so much for materials and it just turned out so useless. Holy crap, and that adds so much! I mean, granted, the grinding got me charmed, but still, I wasted so much time. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, there's a treasure chest. Oh, you're a big fella. And I also need to charm. I don't like how I'm charming him from that angle. Oh, right, I suppose I should take out these other guys too. From that we get... I really did waste my time getting that material! Okay, you're one of those people that's weak to magic. Noted. Get away, get away, get away! Wait a minute, right! They said that lightning... Yeah! I forgot about that! It stuns them and it lowers their... This is the... Words. Work properly. It's nice how they put in that sort of stuff. I completely forgot about it. A full ether, but let's go ahead and equip, once again, a better weapon we stole. Jeez, seeing that now, I really feel bad I wasted my time doing that. I'm not gonna bother with the Winged Abe because they just drop the materials that you trade with. However, I will see what the um, Mushroom Guy does. And we get a Petal. 
noted, you guys are just gonna die. I do like how the enemies throw each other, that's pretty clever. Oh, you're susceptible to magic, huh? I see. Oh, whoa, 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 Zayla's almost out of MP, I should have been paying attention to that. Also, one of my friends was telling me how, well, recently on the PS Vita sale, they had Chrono Cross on sale, and if I get the right materials, I could do a playthrough of it. I'd be going in blind, though, and while I was told that would be an interesting idea, would it, though? I mean, from what I hear, the game gets pretty complex, although I guess it would be better to going blind, then wait a few years to get a feel around the game, even though I got plenty of other games I need to catch up on beforehand. So, that may be a future playthrough, if I can get the materials to set it up. Alright, so let's see, I want to get a Lightning 2. Wow, these guys do not do that much damage anymore. Did I do kind of attack? I should have. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and use one of our shelters. And let's go ahead and s that's not the that's not the save. But I don't know anything about Chrono Cross. I hear people say it's a sequel to this while also not. I've seen descriptions where it says this is a sequel, this is not a sequel. And it gets confusing and like I said, there's gonna be a point in this game where I'm gonna rage about something. And oh, do we got sword? I don't know the characters, so I can't make a voice. Oh Azula Oh, the apes have arrived! You're nothing like Zayla. Tell me what this is at once. Tell Adla about the key. Uh. Yes. Liars! No one would talk that easily. They should loosen your tongues. Come, Nisma! Oh god, that voice hurts. Okay. Damn, dude, you're buff. Okay, though, if he's like in. Oh, I'm gonna charm him first. Then I am going to shock him. Ooh, a new item. Sweet, I'm getting the good stuff from these guys. Also, I. I guess I do see the reason why I would need to use, uh, uh, uh words, 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 of uh, singular lightning, because the second one targets the whole area. I just needed it for this one guy. Ooh, can we do full bite? Okay, that does a lot of damage. This is electrocution. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, so I can't just keep shocking him. Although I feel I have to keep shocking him. Also, wow, cure beam or heal beam is definitely useful. So let's see. Volt bite. I should try boogie. That should lower his defense, but he is going to be ready for one hell of an attack. Okay, come on. 
Come on, where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Oh my! As long as I keep the MP for this, I should be fine. Cause that does a lot of damage. And I'm gonna need to have a heal beam on set. Okay, I'll save you for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and use lightning! And I guess you can just do rock throw? Wow! That was not as bad as I thought it would be. Again, that might be because I'm a little bit overpowered, but I am not 100% on that. Oh god, not this voice. Get back! Get things back to Chrono, now! But remember, we reptiles will rule the world. Your days are numbered! I do not detect any damage. I fight any time as luck. Zela no lose! You leave, Colonel? No fun for Zayla. Thank you, Zayla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Colonel. I try to be strong now, just like Colonel. I know I got those voices mixed up, but I did that on purpose. Come again, Colonel. Body, eat, dance, fight, fun. Wait, you're not coming with? Oh. Oh. Come again, Colonel. Robo and Luca too. Oh. Well, and just like that, Zayla's off the team. Kind of sad, though, because we did all that grind- Wait, before I forget. Oh, I guess I can only do that when I'm in the- I figured with the exchange thing, it meant you could do it anywhere, but I guess not. Oh, well, let's go ahead and reach the end of time, because we have a sword that we need to rebuild, if you haven't forgotten. Actually, wait a minute. Would slash be better? No. And then... I wish Napalm would work. You'd think it would, considering these guys have wool and stuff on them. But, I guess since they're susceptible to magic, their fur doesn't catch fire. believe I actually learned a new... Wow. If I had to take a wild guess, I'm gonna take a... Bleh. I'm gonna think that life is sort of a revive spell, which it's gonna be useful. Just weird Chrono learns it. This is the worst position warp gate ever, but yep. Now that we're back at the end of time, uh, before I talk and get Marl back on the team, I'm gonna save. And let's see how our. Oh, he's grown up. Hi, looking for some practice. Alright. Ow! Jeez! 
Jeez, this dude hits hard. That does not heal for as much as I would hope. I am going to lose to this guy. See, unfortunately, I think this is going to be an off-camera battle. Because, while I would say I would go back and wait till I'm leveled up to fight him, he changes when you level up too high. So I gotta make sure I'm on a certain level, so... This is probably gonna be an off-camera battle, and I'll show the results of a victory. But let it be known, I will not always be able to beat this guy. He gets really tough. Uh, yeah, you win. Controller. Controller! One second. Sorry about that, it seems my controller wanted to die at that certain point. But yeah, we can't really take him on at this point, and it's gonna be a little while before we actually can. It'll probably be off camera, and I'll show the victory of beating him and what you get out of it, but for now, it's best we just leave it for now. And I suppose we'll bring Marl with... <sighs> Do I, though? Well, know what? Considering the next scene, I'm gonna keep the team as is for now. Because we need to head back to 1000 AD. Did I just completely get that wrong? I need to go to 600. Crap. Hey, guys! Bye, guys! Oh, no, wait! I was right! Oh! Oh, when I was wrong, I was right! I do need to head back to this time, because there's no point in giving a broken weapon! The whole reason we went back to the past was to get a material to get this weapon repaired! <sighs> Melchior! I got your crap! You found some Dreamstone, and I'll repair the Masamune! How on earth did you get the Masamune? And the Dreamstone! No, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. It'll take a little while to fix this. I'll lend a hand. Well, Robo, it's just you and me. Let's go see what they're doing. Alright then. How are you gonna fix it? Well, you guys are insightful, aren't you? I do actually think you need to walk out and come back in. I don't remember. Mr. Chrono, the Masamune has not been fully repaired. Well, yeah, I know, but they said it would take a while. Oh, at any rate, leave it to me. Yeah, okay, can you... To repair the Masamune, we must process the Dreamstone and activate the sword. You work on the Dreamstone, and I'll work on the sword. Okay, leave it to Luke at the Great. Alright, Robo, let's just sit in the corner and watch this happen. Yeah, this is just a process. Alright, it's done. Now bring me the Dreamstone. I'm done here too. No clue why you brought the mug, but alright. Alright, let's get it started. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Whoa. Take a look. This is the Masamune. How strange. My senses are picking up spiritual energy emanating from the Masamune. Well, I think that's everything. Chrono, let us take the Masamune to Frog. That sounds like a plan. Maybe I'll stop being such a big wuss. Oh, wait, wrong house. Sorry. You look oddly familiar. Amazi the Eighth, Medina Village's leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why just simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? The work is brutal. Ozzy the Eighth uses his ancestors' fame and bosses around. Well, I, I don't see why. He was kind of a pansy back in the past. Or at least his ancestor was. A base lives in a cave on the mountain to the west. Oh! We've been here before, haven't we? Sorry about that. Alright, now we'll head to our friend's house. Hey guys! Using your wardrobe! See ya! Alright, where's that? Where's that? This time I'll get the time right. No! Nope. Protodome, nope. It's always the last one I choose. I do kind of wish at this point there was a port that took us a little closer to the overworld, but to be fair, this area isn't that hard to traverse. I mean, if you get into any battle, you can just one-shot him. Speaking of one-shot, I need to give Luca the new weapon. These are better. And keep what you got. Excuse me. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Frog. See if he's willing to cooperate now. I want redemption! Wait, no! Come on, I didn't even engage in a fight that time! Hey, frog. What's up, buddy? Tis thee again! The sword! Tis the boss of moon, eh? I must. Ponder this turn of events. Remaineth here the night. Well, you don't really have much for bed, so I don't think it's the most comfortable of living. Oh, whoa! Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it is time we took back the medal from the Frog King, and I'd like to see the mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the king needs you. Lean and I need you. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. Sir Cyrus! We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? 
Glenn, you be careful too. Be a sound health, your majesty. Take it if you can. Right. Prepare yourself, Polywog. On guard! Now follow a strike! Ah, how dare you pick on a helpless amphibian! Filthy metal, I won't forget this! Uh, beware, Glenn! Cyrus the sword! Masamune! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing! Ugh. You haven't beaten me yet. Cyrus, I'm a goner. Glenn, escape while I keep them at bay. But... If you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, then, go! Ugh. Cyrus! Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of me. Cyrus! Cyrus! I'm just gonna point this out now. That rainbow in the background is kind of killing the mood. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you going to try your luck? <laughs> Can't cut your tongue, kid! How about it, Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright, why not? There's always time for a little fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> you spineless wimp! Ten years hath passed. Can I do it? I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. Awaketh Chrono! You know what? I know I got the names kind of mixed up there. But, I'm gonna say that it's sort of him trying to become like him. So that kind of actually works! Thou we, though we may fail, let us go to Magus' lair! Thou knowest his power! Nothing can beat science. We must do it to save our future. And now Frog is part of the team! And, believe it or not, I'm actually going to replace him with Robo. But, I will also switch out Marl with Luca. Yep, we got a completely new team now! And I think this is a well-fitting spot day in the episode. So, in the next episode, we will traverse and try to take on Magus himself. I'll see you guys then.